Who else wants to be part of a movement? A simplistic approach to helping kids obtain a rewarding career. Hi, my name is Crystal Oliveria, and I'm the Career Conversationalist. Thank you for joining today. Each year, millions of kids graduate high school and do not spend a significant amount of time exploring career options. Right now, our educational system is focused on graduating kids from high school and not adequately preparing them for the next stage of life. Interestingly, students are encouraged to go to college and take on massive amounts of debt while spending little to no time exploring career and college options. Many students pick college majors based on something they are interested in and may not know much about. Even worse, children may have inadequate preconceived ideas about a career based upon what is portrayed as entertainment on television and the internet. Children need proper guidance about making decisions that will have lifelong consequences. Do you want to be part of a movement to help kids make excellent decisions about their future? Let's discuss why this is urgent and why you should care. 1. Wasted money. When kids are encouraged to attend college but are not sure about what to major in, they may change their college major several times. As a result, classes may not transfer and children spend more time in college and more money on tuition, books, and supplies. Many of these students may also have loans to help cover the cost of living while they attend school. When numerous students change their major multiple times, a lot of money is wasted, including our tax dollars that provide the government educational grants and loans. 2. Burden of debt. The burden of loans is easier to carry when families see a return on investment. Many parents are willing to invest money and take out parent loans to help their children to help fund their children's college education because statistically a person with a college degree will earn $1 million more over their lifetime. The opportunity to make more makes the long-term payout worth taking on the short-term loan debt. However, what happens when students get a degree in a major they discover they dislike? The burden of the debt becomes heavier because students no longer want to work in their field of study. 3. Declining Job Market it is very discouraging when students earn a degree in a field that has a declining job market. Many students don't seriously start thinking about job prospecting until they are close to completing their college education. When job prospecting becomes a reality, many students wish they'd picked a different college major. All three of these situations can be eliminated or drastically reduced if children are given more guidance about how to select a career in college prior to graduating high school. Having an ongoing community conversation can help families make more informed decisions that can lead to happier and more productive adults. By sharing your insight from your own experience, you can share your wisdom with generations to come. Do you want to help future generations by leaving a legacy of career advice? Stay tuned to find out more about how we can work together to build a robust community that offers advice and wisdom to those in need. Bonus! I have some insider information for you. But first, I want to ask you these five questions. 1. Have you heard that people who have a college degree will statistically earn $1 million more over their lifetime? 2. Have you heard that not all college degrees are equal in terms of income opportunity? 3. Have you heard that college majors in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math pay more than liberal arts degrees? 4. Have you ever wondered how much more a person with a STEM degree is likely to make than a person with a liberal arts degree? 5. Do you know where to go to find credible data about the long-term payouts of different college majors? If you answered no, you're not alone to question number five. But I have good news for you. I found a credible source about the, econ the economic value of college majors. There's a PDF guide, document, study, 
that was created by Georgetown University and published in 2015. You can research or you can use this internet and a search engine and type in the keyword phrase the economic value of college majors Georgetown University 2015. If you don't have time to read the whole guide now, here's a very quick and short summary. The difference between the lifetime wages of college and high school graduates is $1 million. The difference between the highest and lowest paying college graduate majors is $3.4 million. I recommend you go check out the study. It's really good. Thank you so much for joining and I will look forward to seeing you again here soon.